All right, y'all, welcome back to the shop. Let's get started. Okay, folks, so what we got here is my old Sears Craftsman 12-inch, uh, one-horsepower bandsaw. It's been an oldie, but a goodie. You get a little adjuster here for your guard. Kind of, kind of archaic. It's an old saw, but I'll tell you what, it served me pretty well. Um, it's got one underlying problem that I've had to deal with over and over again, and I'm going to bring the camera in, and I'm going to show you what that problem is, and I'm going to show you or explain to you how I've been able to fix it a couple of ways. So let me... Bring the camera in, get you a close-up of what I'm talking about, and we'll go forward from there. Okay, folks, so what you're looking at here is a cutaway of my saw. You can see that I kind of butchered that, cutting a hole in there, because this has happened so many times, it drives me crazy. But, and it also has a handy-dandy phone holder for a light. You can see that little piece right there works just by luck to hold the light in still. So what happens is, grab this little pointer I've got. Right here are your drive, is your drive belt. Down there is your drive pulley, right there on the motor. These two continually continue to get out of alignment, and it's usually this one down here that's the issue. What happens is that pulley slides inward toward the motor. When that happens, it pops the drive belt off, and you throw a temper tantrum and have to take it apart and fix it. Now, that's why I butchered this thing, because you can almost not get into the bottom side. There's a crossbar about right here that's in the way. After opening this up, it's much quicker. Anyhow, the first way I fixed it was you can rotate this, and maybe you can see the set screw. Uh, let's see, right there is the set screw. Loosen the set screw up, push, push the pulley back over where it belongs, tighten the set screw up, Make sure the top one is correct. There's a set screw almost in perfect alignment on the top and the bottom. Tighten them up, secure them, make sure they're, they're good to go. That held for a while, and then again it popped over and moved. Now, same process. Loosen up the bottom pulley set screw. I slid it over, and then I took CA glue, 2P10, and I made a large bulbous gel all the way around the inside. Get my pointer again like right here. Glued that on, hit it with the activator, and it held for six, eight months that way. It's held, and it just it just came loose again all the other day, and I've moved it over and done it again. In the interim, though, I've had a friend of mine producing um, metal bushings. Well, they're in a bag up on the top up there. We know what bushings are. I don't need to get those. But when this happens again, I'm going to take those bushings, slide this pulley off, and then I'm going to put um, that bushing right there. Then lock it back down, and that will prevent that pulley from moving over. Now, there's one other thing I'm going to do if that doesn't work. Actually, there's one other thing that I've done to ensure that that doesn't become a problem. And let me back the camera up, and I'll give you a wider angle so that you can see what, what I've done for it. Okay, so what I'm going to do for this thing that's going to make this not happen again, I mean, it's a snap. It's a... I mean, it's a... And boom! We fixed it for good this time! What we have here is a Rikon 14-inch um, bandsaw here, and... We are pretty happy with it. We've been waiting for one of these for a while. Let me push the old saw over just to show you how much this Rikon dwarfs this old Sears. Let me push it over here, see if I can get it up close for you. Just look at the difference in these two saws. If that ain't something special, I don't know what is. 12 inch, 14 inch. We're going to do a review on the Rikon. We're going to show you some of the features and the things that we've gotten for it. Um, we got a wheel kit for it. Uh, I guess that's the extra piece I got is the wheel kit. But when we get it rolling, we're going to do a review and let you guys know how we make out and show you just how much better the big guy is from the little guy. OK, 
Okay, folks, so the Rikon 14-inch Deluxe Bandsaw. I'm going to try to go over some of the features. I've got this camera in my hand, so excuse me if it rolls around and bounces around. But All right, let's open up the box here and see what's inside. All right, cast iron wheels, solid steel neck, some directions here. And like I said, if I miss something, I apologize, but... This thing is so new, I'm so excited, I probably will miss something. But uh, blade tensioner up here on the top. This little box here is to allow your safety post to go up through once you raise it up. Here is your uh, guard. If you open this little lock here, you can access the blade and the blade guides. That's one of the major features on this saw. This is toolless blade guide adjustment. You turn these little knobs right here <clears throat> and they are spring loaded from there. They will go in and out and you adjust them accordingly. Same thing with this bearing back here. The knob is on this side. Let me get my camera around. Sorry folks. Knob is over here. Shaft is here. And you can slide that in for the back bearing. It's identical on the bottom. Um, obviously this is your fence. It slides very smooth, back and forth, up and down. It can come off of there. You can take it off and lay it flat for shallower cuts. Um, one feature that this saw has that I don't know that many others do, again, bear with me because I'm doing this in my hand. I want you to be able to see it. This knob right here will take that fence and cant it one way or the other to give you a true 90-degree angle. I'll show you how that works. This one locks it in place. This one is the adjustment, so we loosen that. Now, if you watch, say, over here, you'll see when I turn this knob what happens. You see how that jumps away, and then you can turn it the other way and dial it back in, away and in. And once you get it 90 degrees to the saw blade, you lock it in place and you're good to roll. On-off switch right here, nice big red, oh, crap button to punch and stop it. Uh, let's open up the bottom door. Same thing as any saw. Now this saw also has something that others don't. It is a two-speed saw. And you do that by changing the pulley configuration behind here and in here. Fast or slow. I have yet to change it. I haven't had a need to change it yet. Um, I don't know that this is a feature, but I get a kick out of it. Every time I shut this door, those knobs turn automatically to start the lock. And then you continue it down. Down here, another feature that this has that some don't is a storage compartment. The Deluxe has it. The Standard does not. The Standard is an open box on the bottom. The Standard, the Deluxe one, excuse me, we went with the Deluxe because of that storage, because I thought it might be a little heavier, a little more stable. So if we swing around to the back, I'm actually going to move this saw. We have our um, uh, blade guy, or a... Uh, Blade alignment adjuster right here. Unloosen or loosen, not unloosen, that's not a word. Loosen this lock nut. You can turn this in or out while looking through this window and you can put that blade where you want it. Now, manufacturers tell you to put it one way. Uh, Alex, and I hope I don't get in trouble for mentioning his name, says to put it somewhere else. I go by his method because it's, it's perfect. And that method is the teeth right on the center of the wheel instead of the blade in the center the teeth in the center and there's some other things you can watch his video to find out how you, he sets up his saw little tool storage area here blade tension here you can release and tighten that up it's quick release quick tighten this little knob here loosen that up this dial works with that knob to allow you to raise and lower the guide guard not guide sorry we can lock that in place. Uh, motor in the back. This is an adjustable table. It'll adjust from 0 to 45 degrees. There's a stop right up in here that controls 90. When it comes over, it's a positive stop. 4-inch dust collection port. Um, accessory uh, power supply right there. No, you don't take your saw and plug your saw into there because your saw won't work. That's a joke. Um, also, it is the perfect color scheme for my shop. I don't know that anybody cares about that, but I do. Um, a lot of my tools are blue, and so we want to stay with the color scheme. 
I hope I've covered everything for y'all. Again, right can, put a little glare on it to make it look fancy. Uh, 14 1036 Deluxe Bandsaw. And I hope this review helps you. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to show you the reason that I bought the saw, and that was mainly because the old dinosaur over there gives me some grief sometimes, and I'm going to convert that saw to strictly small work, scroll type work. I'm going to change the belt, blade, not belt, change the blade to an eighth inch blade, and it will stay that way. Um, and it'll be over there for that when I want to do some scrolling. This one, this monster, does serious resaw work. And that is something that I haven't had the ability to do in my shop. I do have an LT10 wood miser out back, but it's just not, it's not logical for me to take a 10 inch board out back to resaw it when I want to do that. So let me get the camera back on the tripod and I'll bring it over here and we will resaw a board and show you how accurate this thing is. I've already done a little one here. Um, here's just a little teaser. That was a two by four. And now it's a butch book matched set. So let me get the thing set up and I'll cut a piece of wood for you. Don't get much better than that. Pretty darn close. That's my that's my mismeasurement right there. But two beautiful pieces now that I can turn into something awesome. This saw is going to be an extremely good addition to my shop. All right, y'all. Hope you got something out of that video. I hope I didn't miss anything. Oh, they give you this too, this push stick. I did miss that. But um, Rikon 14 326, excellent purchase. I highly recommend it so far. I haven't used it very long, but I recommend it. Give me a like. Give me a share, a comment. Please subscribe to the video. If you've hit the subscribe button, don't hit it again. You're already subscribed. You're all set. And as always, we'll catch you on the next one.